Hey guys, welcome back to Blind Pops. Today I have the stuff that I got at Funko Hollywood. Um, it was a fun store. Uh, like I said, very, very dark in there. Uh, my cam my phone uh, showed it brighter, but it was super dark in there. I definitely, out of the two stores, I mean, Funko Hollywood looks amazing and there's a lot of stuff to do in there. But my favorite is uh, the Everett uh, Funko HQ because it's everything is kind of like in order you go one way and you can get all the rooms and uh, and you, you don't feel like you missed something but um here is their little price guide that they give you with the blueprints of the store so it's a lot of stuff and then there's the prices. It's pretty much the same. They didn't have uh, certain things there because uh, they hadn't gotten it in yet, like uh, Naruto. Yeah. And then I got one of these. It's a fat seal with some cake. And then I got Colonel Sanders. And then as for the store exclusives, um, not I guess they're not store exclusives. This was just for the grand opening. They only had two left. And then the second day I went, they only had one left. Oh man, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. But um, I ended up getting Huckleberry Hound number six seventy eight. And there's their uh, exclusive sticker right there. And then he's holding the Hollywood bag. But this one's pretty cool. And then, uh, the other one that I wasn't like, eh, I wasn't going to get it, but since it was the, only the last two left, I ended up getting, um, Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. It's, uh, number 298, I think. And she's also holding a Funko Hollywood bag. And the side, and the back. So anyways, got a phone call. Um, then we got this button, because uh, the, the, apparently the guy still had some left from their grand opening. And he said if uh, you could find Ant-Man in the room, that he'd give you a prize. And the prize was this button. Um, my sons did that, and Ant-Man is still tiny, and spoilers, he's on top of the waterfall. Just so you know, he's not in the room, he's out in the entrance. But there it is. So, yeah, so, it was fun. Anyways, let me get these out, and I'll be right back. Alright, so here's everything out of the box. Let's see, we'll start with, uh... The Colonel. Colonel Sanders. I really like uh, how he looks, the Pez. There's the stem. And then, uh, again, the seal. He has spots, so does that make him a leopard seal? Hmm. And Huckleberry Hound. Let's see, can I grab him without dropping anything? There's his hat. And his bag. I hope, I mean, I don't know when I'll go back to California, but I hope they get more stuff that, souvenirs basically. I really think uh, Funko needs to make a penny machine. The, what are they called? Elongated pennies? They really need to do that. That'd be cool. Like one with Freddy Funko and then one that says like Funko Hollywood or Funko HQ. Um, that'd be awesome. And they need postcards for Hollywood and pins. Just something that commemorates that you went. Because after, like, there was no more Wonder Woman's the next day that I went. And they only had Huckleberry Hound, and they didn't have that many left. So after, um, after that's all gone, you really don't have anything, because everything was for their grand opening. They had, like, two of their shirts left, but they were, like, extra small. So I didn't get any of those. 
What do you guys think? Did anybody go? Did any was anybody able to get the ones that they wanted? Let me know down below. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye.